comeback was crazy. Let's get into it. Alright man, Torture Talk, like, share, subscribe to the page. Today I want to get into this Tory Lanez Daystar album. Before I do that, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, hit that thumbs up. You know what it is. If you want to donate, Cash App is in the description. Best way to support the channel is to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Alright man, Tory Lanez. Comeback was crazy. Tory Lanez. Listen. Daystar. How do I start this, man? Because this is an excellent project. <laughs> man, I tell you. Listen. I reviewed Tory Lanez last album. I think it was Toronto... Three, I think it was, and it was okay. I thought that. I mean, I'm gonna put put it to y'all like this. Tory Lanez to me, he fell in that category of uh, the new generation of multitask rappers who can rap slash, you know, sing. Kind of like a a, a a rap, more of a rap version of Chris Brown or Drake, I should say. Um, fell into that lane. Um, and I'll be honest with y'all, I really wasn't feeling too much of these new guys like that. I just think that they were, I thought that they were reaching a lot. And with this project, I, I just, this is the level up here. And I think that this is where he need to stay and keep going with it. See, I always thought that emotional music makes the best music sometimes like if you go back to the old music usually it's the emotional songs that stick with you and i think that he's in a vulnerable and emotional state where it pushes him to deliver something that i don't think he ever delivered before and this is by far his best project there's nothing he ever did better than this i don't care if he has hit singles i don't care about none of that just the way he went about it. And I hear some people say, and I even agree, that the subject matter is throughout the whole thing is the same. Well, he's talking about himself. So, of course, the subject matter is going to be the same. And his name, that's his name. And that's the album. It's about him. So, I get it. So, on the flip side of that, I guess you can say, you know, that was a perfect storm. So, going into this project, I really didn't want to listen to it because I said, okay, I'm not going to get on the whole Megan Thee Stallion thing where what happened between the two. If you want to know what happened, y'all just go research that. And I said, I'm not going to get into that. I said, but this must be something that he has to say because he hasn't said anything. Even though I didn't want to get into that. So I didn't go to the album. Let's just be honest. I was being nosy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to sit here and play y'all. I was being nosy. Even though I don't get into that. But I just wanted to hear his side. And man, I tell you. Woo. Boy. From the first song to the last song. He delivered. It, it's not one thing on this album that I would disagree with as far as how he came. I don't think Tory Lanez is done, and I don't think that he has reached his peak. I think that he just opened up a new chapter in his career to me, and he showed me a lot. Now, before I get into the review part of the album, I'm just going to some disclaimers. Tory Lanez is from the new generation, and a new generation tend to sound like each other. In a way, so I kind of got to give Tory Lanez a pass when I hear people say that, oh, this song sounds like 
Chris Brown. Oh, this song sounds like Chance the Rapper. Oh, this song sounds like Drake. Was, most rappers nowadays, they strive to sound the same anyway. Because it's not about them sounding the same. It's the actual sound of what's going on right now. So, so he gets a pass on that. So let's just throw that out the window. But outside of that, man, I tell you. Let's start with the production. The production was amazing. I think that every song on this album, the production was at least a nine or a 10. Every beat was good. Every beat were good. Like it wasn't like no lackluster beat. Some of like, I would say one of the beats started off kind of okay, but then it changed up and I said, oh yeah, this is fire. And I liked how he changed up with it. That was pretty decent. I liked that. The, the, the beats were great. Song structure, amazing. From the R&B to the rapping to the long verses, everything had a point to it. So it was just, just the song content, even though it was all in the same, it came, he came with different angles about different situations. And some of those situations I could understand and relate to from previous relationships I've been in. And to me, that makes the great, a great, a great perfect storm of an album. And as far as the raps go, like, come on. He was on a hundred every song. Every song, he was on a hundred. Now, I will have to nitpick a little bit. He addressed people in one song, not not his ex, because I can give that a pass, but sometimes you can't keep addressing the same people. But then again, I can understand why he did it, because that's when you're in an emotional state. Like, listen, I don't care. They all I'm, they all going to hear this. You know what I'm saying? So even if I have to say it twice, you're going to hear this. And maybe I, didn't, maybe I wasn't clear enough. You know what I'm saying? So I think that that part to me was the only part that I said, okay, yeah. And it didn't really significantly hold the album down or whatever. I mean, it is what it is. So as long as it's great, it really don't matter. So with that being said, I gave this album a strong nine, pushing up to a 10. And I know that it's going to be a lot of people that's going to hear this album and they're going to say this is his first classic. This is an amazing project. I highly recommend this album. Amazing. Amazing. There's a song for everybody on this album. For the turn up, for the young boys, for the old heads. It's amazing. And all around. I'm going to go as far as saying that this may be in my top, my top five hip-hop albums that I heard this year. It kind of knocks a lot of albums out. And I don't really feel sorry for saying that because there are some good hip-hop albums, but this left a lasting impression. Kind of like uh, Director's Cut, Scene 1, 2, and 3, The Allegory, Alfredo. You know, left a lasting impression, man. This is one of those albums that I'm going to probably be listening to for the rest of the year, maybe next year. You know what I mean, it's, it's very good. Very good album. Strong not. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is. Tory Lanez. Crazy.